Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Justin Sandberg from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, and we've got a brand new Arctic Wolf toy hauler to take a look at today. We're going to go through the outside, go through the inside, and see what you think. So to start off the video, this is a stock number 22377. If you are interested in this, go on our website and punch that in. And this is the 2021 Cherokee Wolf Pack 365 Pack 16. Before we go down there, I want to show you guys the really awesome molded front cap on this. You got the really awesome Wolf Pack logo. Got these really cool LED lights on here, just kind of make it look a little different. Stick out from the crowd. Got your uh, generator prep storage area down here. Fit a nice big generator in there. Then you got your battery compartment right there. You got your landing leg controls, your docking lights, so you can turn those lights on and off on the front cap. This wolf pack's gonna have two slide outs on this side. Got a 20 pound propane tank on the side of the unit. And I want to get the weight over to you guys. So gross vehicle weight on this is 16,825 pounds. You got about 4,000 pounds of cargo to work with there. All right. So you got a really nice pass through storage area here in the middle. You've got your outside shower, your water connections, a little uh, outside shower spray port there. Got your cable and satellite hookups. Got your black and your gray tank poles under there. Got your, uh, your dump right there, so that's where you're gonna hook up your hose. This unit is gonna be on a double axle. We got some really nice big tires here. And a really nice aluminum rims. Got another dump back here for the half bath that's in the garage. Got your 50 amp service. Got your fuel dispensing gauge here. This is where you're gonna fill up the uh, onboard gas tank. Got a nice ladder going up to the roof. Got your backup camera prep up there. This door is gonna drop down. I just didn't have room to do it here. This is gonna drop down into an outdoor patio. Probably adds a good six or seven feet to your living space there. You got a lease latch, hook up your best friend. Got a lot of 110 outlets out here for getting a little table set up with a coffee maker, all that. Your stabilizer jacks are gonna be electric, which is super neat. Pull that guy back up there. So all the stabilizers on this are gonna be electric. Got your outside speakers. Got a really nice outdoor kitchen area out here. There's no cooktop, but you got a little uh, mini fridge. You got your ice maker. A little storage area up here for maybe some spices. You got 110 outlets back there. You got another spray port so you can hook up your outside shower hose there. You got your furnace exhaust, another leash latch. This wolf pack is going to have the heated and closed underbelly. If you go camping and do October, even early November, you got your hot water heater. Another 20 pound propane tank. Got these two really nice big awnings. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head into the garage here. So you got a really big garage. You got your bunk bed up there. And then you got your two sofas that will come down, fold out, fold into a bed, really versatile. You're gonna have windows on both sides here. It's got the coverings on there. This is your door that's gonna go down. You got this really nice fence that rolls out. So once you get the door down into a patio position, this fence will go around it and create kind of a little uh, 
barrier out there so if you got dogs they can go out there and not just jump off uh, as easily as they normally could got all your light light switches here got usbs this is your control for the bed that up and down really simple got more usbs on this side more 110s and then this is the half bath in the garage that i was talking about earlier so you just got a toilet and a sink in here a little ledge and a window and when you're loading your toys in you can undo this latch here and this door will open up which you can store there it just opens up this floor even more so you can fit a couple atvs in here for sure a can-am four or five motorcycles probably it's a really big and spacious back here you got your washer dryer hookup some 110s and then we can go ahead and head inside here so you got this really cool door go ahead and close this behind it all right so now we are inside of the living part of the camper so you got a nice loft up there you can use that as extra storage or a bunk bed got this really nice u-shaped kitchen really good counter space you got your three burner cooktop with a little cover i always thought this was super neat so they got a magnetized cutting board that just pulls right off of the backsplash here you got a microwave and you got your your hood vent right above the cooktop here got 110 outlets there and here so you can get your coffee maker set up get an air fryer set up in here got your nice big farm style sink got the residential faucet got a little bit of storage in here for your silverware got a nice big storage area right behind us by the cooktop Got a huge pantry. Got more storage in here. And you got your fridge freezer combo, of course. A nice little storage area up above the fridge. And you do have a three person Thomas Paine sofa in this slide out here. Got some nice big windows. Got a little storage here to keep your newspaper and magazines in. And a 110 right underneath the counter there. And then here you've got a half dinette. You've got your table. You can pull up a couple of freestanding chairs here and easily seat about four or five for dinner. And of course with the wolf packs you got the, the really cool zebra shades. Got a little key rack up here. Got your coat rack. Electric fireplace so you can get some free heat going at the uh, campsite if you're plugged in. You check the voltage on your battery, you got your thermostat, you got your radio, your whole control panel so you control all your lights. Control your one slide out, your two awnings from right here. You got your heated holding tank switch to pop that bad boy on. It's going to keep those tanks nice and warm. Nice storage up above. All right, then we can head into the main bathroom and the bedroom on this Wolfpack 365-16. Got two doors. You got your walk-through bathroom. Got a big sink. Nice big medicine cabinet. You got your new angle shower. Nice and tall. Another mirrored medicine cabinet behind us. Got your porcelain toilet, got your light switch. Just give you guys an idea of how much room's in here. I'm six foot, I'm a big guy. I could easily get changed in here with both doors closed. All right, and then coming into the bedroom. So you got a nice big bed, you got under bed storage. You got a little nightstand on this side. You got a little storage back there, 110s, USBs. Storage up above. You got some light switches in here. And then this is your slide out control for your wardrobe slide. Just to 
show you that there. So that's bringing it in. Bring it right back out there. And a nice area to hang up some clothes. So I mean, all in all, you're gonna have four wardrobes total here. You got the one there. Excuse me, there's not one over there. So we got three wardrobes in here. And a nice little uh, storage area up here. You can put your alarm clock up there. A couple of nice storage drawers here. You got your window. Let's give you guys one more good walk around here. Really cool lighting in here. Really cool look to this wolf pack. Bring it back into the garage one more time. All right, and again, my name is Justin Sandberg from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're interested in this wolf pack 365 16, please give me a call at 651-529-5767. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and safe camping.